Hi, this is Dave from notesandvolts.com and in this video we're going to do a collaboration with my friends at JLC PCB. Make sure you head over to jlcpcb.com to take advantage of their incredible 10 boards for $2 prototyping deal. The website also features live quoting and a built-in Gerber viewer so you can make sure your boards look exactly like you want. JLC PCB is a great place for all your circuit board needs, large and small. The folks at JLC PCB contacted me with an interesting collaboration idea. They just said, come up with a cool project and we'll provide you with the boards. The boards arrived quickly and they were fantastic. I decided to do something that I've wanted to do for a while, which is to create a full-size fader MIDI controller box. And here's what I came up with. I call it the Fader 8. I wanted the box to have a retro look with an LED display and also some high quality full-size faders. So let's take a look at exactly how I created this project. First, I needed to design and prototype the circuit. I used potentiometers instead of faders at this point because they're easier to work with on a breadboard. I decided to use a Teensy LC microcontroller to run the project since it handles MIDI over USB very well. Once I had the circuit working, I went over to KiCad to design the circuit board. I then imported a 3D model of the board into Fusion 360 so I could design and cut out the enclosure. Once I had the dimensions for the enclosure, I went to Inkscape and designed some graphics for the front panel. Now I was ready to start building. We'll start by placing the circuit board in a holder to make it easier to work with. Now we'll grab a Teensy LC board, which will be the brains of this project. I need to attach some wires to the USB pads on the Teensy. So I'll grab two pieces of 24 gauge stranded wire and solder them in place. And here's the finished product. Now I'll trim the wires so they fit into the holes on the circuit board. This will route the USB signals on the Teensy board to the external USB port. Now I'll install some headers on the board and solder the Teensy in place. Now for a quick visual check to make sure everything looks okay. Next we'll install a Mac 7219 LED driver chip. This will drive our seven segment display. The next step is to install a 74125 level converter chip that converts 3.3 volts to five volts for the LED display. And now we're ready for the three digit LED display. Now we'll just install the resistors, buttons and faders to finish up the board. Looks pretty good. And now I'm ready to cut the enclosure. I'm using a Hammond 1590DD box for this project. Working with faders is always challenging because you need to mill some very straight slots in your enclosure. A milling machine makes this much easier.
Here's the top of the enclosure finished. We'll switch vices and make a cutout for the USB jack on the back of the enclosure. And here's the finished enclosure. Now I'll use some matte photo paper to print out the front panel graphics. After carefully cutting out the panel, I'll run it through a standard office laminator to make it durable. Now I'll use a paper template to cut some holes in some 3M468 MP adhesive paper. I'll peel off one side of the adhesive and stick it to the back of the front panel. Now I'll cut around the panel with some scissors, leaving just a tiny bit of the lamination so it doesn't come unsealed. Now I'll carefully line up the graphics on the front of the enclosure and use some tape to create a hinge. This will allow me to remove the adhesive and keep everything lined up. I'll use an X-Acto knife to trim out the holes of the enclosure. The lamination over the LED display acts like a window, so I won't cut that part out. And there you go. I think it turned out great. As a finishing touch, I decided to 3D print some custom knobs. I then use some white nail polish to paint lines on the top of the knobs. To remove the excess paint, I used a paper towel soaked with acetone. Here's the finished product. Now we can finally put everything together. I'll start by installing some 8mm standoffs on the circuit board. Now for everybody's favorite part, peeling the plastic off the LED display. Mmm, satisfying. Now we'll attach the PCB to the enclosure with some M3 bolts. Now I'll screw on the back of the enclosure and finish it off with some stick-on rubber feet. And to finish everything off, I'll press fit the 3D printed fader knobs. And after a lot of work, we're finally finished. I'm really happy with the way this project turned out and would once again sincerely like to thank JLC PCB for making this all possible. Make sure you visit notesandvolts.com for more projects like this one. And if you want to see me work on these projects live, make sure you follow me on Twitch. Okay, this is Dave from Notes and Volts on behalf of the folks from JLC PCB saying thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.